I'm here now. Oh my gosh, get this off my screen. I'm having like a mini panic attack right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who did that? Don't look at me. Okay, here we go. Try again. So, for those of you that don't know what just happened, me neither. Okay, so. My, I tried to text some of you. I texted Esby at the same time on my phone, which I just had, but you guys know I don't type that fast. So you've probably seen the message on Esby the same time that you're hearing me say it. All right, so back to what we were doing. We were doing pick number four. Um, my computer just shut off for no good reason, just so you know. All right, so it said, what are the rules to live by that Red Gibling, Gibling gives us in this stand of the poem? You are only going to go back and reread stanza four, so I'm going to reread it really quick out loud to you guys. If you can walk with crowds and keep your virtues, if, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance, run. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. All right. Now, if you remember earlier in our conversation, I said, this little thing right here, remember what Ms. Bunn did for you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I did this for you. I already told you about this. Now, what you would have to do is you might want to look at it and find where stanza four is that I already wrote down here. If this is the beginning of the poem and stanza four is the end, then maybe the answers are here at the end and it will help you with question number four, but not right now, okay? So you can go back and do that. Number five, now let's look at number five. It said, look at the conveying theme in bud not buddy charts. Uh-oh, that's this one. I already did it for you. So you don't even have to turn back in the book. It's telling you to turn back in the book, but you don't even have to because I typed it all up on one document. Which of the rules to live by in this stanza of if connects to the themes in Bud Not Buddy? So what rule in stanza four connects with one of the themes here? What rule in stanza four connects with one of the themes here? And how does it connect? You may, that means you have to explain yourself. Okay, so that's question number five. And now question number six. Everyone looking at question number six is a Venn diagram, Venn diagram. Your job is to compare and contrast what is similar about the way authors Christopher Paul Curtis and Rudyard Kipling conveyed a similar theme and what is different. So remember, these are Paul Christopher's themes, and these are Rudyard Kipling's themes, his rules. How did they show them the same way? What is similar? What is similar for the whole book and the whole poem? And you're going to do that in the middle of the Venn diagram. And then on the outside, what is different? How did they show it differently? Conveyed means how did they show it or how did they tell it? So how did they show the themes the same? How did they show them differently? Okay, so let's um, see if there are any questions. Let's see if there are any questions. Does anyone have any questions on four, five, or six? Questions four, five, or six. Okay. All right. So let's review real quick before I let you go and do your thing on your test and then you submit it. This document, themes for Bud Not Buddy, the rules for all four stanzas I typed up for you. So this document, if you open it, it will help you. Trust me. That's why I did it. I spent my time typing them all up and typing this up all on one page. If you use these two documents, you're probably going to get a very good grade today. All right.
Any other questions? You have one common lit this week, don't forget. Some kids ask, Ms. Button, can I turn in a homework fast? If you have one, yes. Candace's question was, is there a way that you guys can earn homework passes for the common lit you've been doing for this third quarter? And Ms. Button is working on it. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is send you um, a homework pass through your messenger box with your name attached to it, okay? I am trying to figure it out. I am not tech savvy like you guys, so I will figure it out. If one of you figures out how to make a homework pass on, on the computer and you wanna send me that image as a document, great. Then we will send that to everyone else that's gotten an A on Common Lit. Any other questions today? Nope. Okay, sorry for the uh, meltdown with the computer. I apologize for that. Um, but you guys are free to go. And I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.